the German Shepherd ate the pizza. We got a horror uh, animated story we're gonna be reacting to. So yeah. I told her ride it like a rental. It's just a rental. I'm not with all the sentimentals. Just keep it simple. You wanna know what I'm into, so you can get into it. I ain't trying to get into it. I didn't been through a lot of shit been on my mental. I didn't been through it. Niggas said they gon' kill me. Nike just do it. Hi guys. This video is sponsored by uh Hi guys. This video is sponsored by Smoothie, uh, okay. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This video is sponsored by Tropical Smoothie Cafe. If your thirst is very, uh. Hi guys, uh, shit. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This video is sponsored by Tropical Smoothie Cafe. If you are really thirsty, you might want to try. What? It's doing good, bro. I'm telling you, it's doing smack. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kari, and welcome back to another video with your boy Kai Rick. You see the title and the thumbnail of today's banger, man. Today's reaction video. We are reacting to True Domino's Pizza Delivery Horror Story. This is an animated horror story. I do look, 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 listen to me right now. I do not like horror stories. I do not, I don't, I don't like scary stuff. I don't like listening to none of that. I don't like watching none of that, bro. I hate that. I don't, I don't like it, bro. It's just, I can't do it, bro. We got a horror uh, animated story we're gonna be reacting to. So, yeah. Leave a like, subscribe to join the uh, hashtag Kai family. And yeah, let's get into it, man. I don't, I don't want to do this, bro. I don't want to do this. Y'all already know I'm sick of these scary stuff, bro. Let's just get into it. At least, it's, at least it's animated. At least it's animated. Let's go. Let's just let's react to it, man. Pray for me, y'all. Let's get it. Today's horror animation has been brought to you by Nord. I, bro, and it's 11 minutes Did long. You know that it is possible for hackers and cyber criminals to track what you do online. You could be buying something from your favorite site one minute, and the next. Someone could get a hold of your credit card information. You need anonymity and concealment when browsing the web by using NordVPN. It allows you to connect to a virtual IP address anywhere in the world. It encrypts your personal online data. My AirPods just died, bro. Unwanted spying by your ahead. internet service just... provider or hackers attempting to breach your devices, preventing the likelihood of malware and phishing attempts. And the awesome thing is, you can connect so what is to it, like hackers or something or more on a single account. He's not getting Another to the awesome story, bro. Nord VPN is that it's like the video is like that is like the beginning of the video. Period. He's talking for like Have two minutes, and then I guess we're gonna get into the little horror story. Reason, I don't know what's going on. Pop up in the search results. That may be because of your location. So, what do you do? Like, I don't want to hear all this. Once you get to the story, it acts. I don't want to. I don't want to use this. Supported countries. And there you go. Like magic. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leave a like Friday and please subscribe. Get Let's do this talking for like two minutes. We're not even to the horror story yet. I want to get to the horror story. Plus, you get four months free service. Go to nordvpn.com slash mjvanimations and use code mjvanimations. If you were not happy with the service, okay, nordvpn.com. Okay. So there was no risk in trying Now get to the story. So. Click on nordvpn.com oh slash NJV animations in the description below and get protected today. My friends and I grew up in Oz, in a pretty run of the mill suburban okay. area. Now we're getting to the story. Thank our you. Circle of friends all right, guys. Large this is it. This is it. But the four core members in our little unit were myself and my three best friends Johnny, Kev, and Sam. We were 16 years old at the time and having a movie night at Seth's house. Johnny His parents had gone off to Perth for the weekend, and we had the whole okay. place to ourselves. Okay. Well, not just us. Seth was looking after his German Shepherd. They had a whole a place to dog okay. called Bonzo. They had a dog with him. We a had little, all a little, a little, a little German Shepherd. Was obvious. <laughs> Help I don't like scary stuff, man. All right. Of booze. Are we going to sit here and listen? We hours playing video games, roasting each other, and fawning over Margot Robbie in The Wolf of Wall Street. We got about halfway Video through the games? movie when there was yeah. an unexpected knock on the door. Yeah, this was up. Seth looked confused. 
He wasn't expecting any more visitors. Unexpected knock on the door. At his request, somebody ordered pizza. I got up. Who ordered went to pizza? The door with him. Maybe okay. we've been making too much noise, and his neighbors were coming over to complain. Okay. Now, who was there? Standing there on the porch, who was a Domino's door? pizza delivery man. <laughs> He's holding a large pizza box in his hands. Hey. Hey, some large pizza. pepperoni, yes, paid for online. Okay. Uh, what the hell? We hadn't even thought about ordering a pie. Well, as we all know, 16-year-olds and pizzas are natural allies. So we happily took what? it off his hands. I mean, prepaid. It was like a gift from the gods themselves. <laughs> Who were we to say no? Right then, I know it's bleeding, uh, right? Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That's ours, Seth says. He gives him a couple of bucks for his troubles. You boys have a good night. You didn't see that. I was trying to see if my nose is bleeding. Relax. Vehicle. Shut up. Don't say anything to me. Be quiet. We bring the pizza into the living room and tell the other two how we just lucked out. Bro, he's so weird. Pizza, oh, we got a so fresh so funny ad coming. Bro, Damn. take the ads off of the videos, please. I had one of those if we're going to react to it. Well, Kev. Take the ads off the video, because. As always, says I got to just eat somebody but, uh, else's food. We were one of them after all. She's weird. He says the delivery driver couldn't have gotten far. And that there was still time to get him to come back. It was the right thing to do. Open the but pizza! If the store realized we'd stolen one of their pizzas, they may not deliver to Seth's house anymore. Bro, they didn't even order that pizza, In bro. In the end, Kev managed even... to convince us. I guess we weren't assholes after all. The four of us left the pizza on the coffee table and went into the kitchen to call up the pizzeria. We got through to them and tell them that somebody else's pizza had been dropped off at our place. And that the guy should come back and get it and take it to whichever hungry customer had ordered. Kev, my man, my man Kev, the only black nigga. The only black nigga in the story. Alright? Look. Black, black people do not we don't we don't do this. We don't do this. When we see scary stuff, we run. We don't stay there and investigate. We run. We're not staying there and investigating. We're running. We run. We're not investigating nothing. We run. That's what black people do. We don't get no, no. We're, we're out of there. We are out of there, bro. The delivery guy had your uniform on and everything. Well, maybe it's from one of our other stores. We'll ask around and get back to you. We were all a little perplexed, mainly because we knew that no other Domino stores delivered to our area. Figuring this was all just some dumb mix-up, we decided to give them 10 minutes to call us back. If they didn't, well, we just dug in. In the meantime, Bro, this is so we fixed creepy. ourselves some snacks for the rest of the movie. We head back into the living room. Hey, my man, Kev. By what we find. Get, get out of there, bro. Get Bonzo out. dog had Run. stuffed his face into the box and eaten half of the bloody pizza. Some poor guy had just paid for Seth's dog to eat a sultan's feast. As funny as bro, it all seemed, we were slightly annoyed that our good deed had gone unrewarded. I mean, if someone what in the happened? house was going to eat the pizza, we would have rather it being us. The store never bothered to call us back. So we forgot about the whole thing and just got back to watching the movie. The German Shepherd ate it's the pizza. It's not long afterwards that the dog started Are you for real? noticeably distressed. He starts whimpering and whining and clambers off to the kitchen. Okay. Must be the pizza, we thought. Well, he could so wait. So nobody ate the food that's sitting on the couch? It was his own fault, after all. And that juicy scene was coming up in the movie. Bro. You know which one I mean. In he ate the food. That's why he put something in the food. Ten minutes later, we realized that Bonza was really ill. Thinking he must have gorged himself to the point of near death, we googled for an emergency vet in the area. We found one, and the four of us rushed him there as quickly as we could. Bonza really wasn't at the bro. Point that dog's of death dead. Brought him in, but it wasn't that dog's dead, bro. That dog's dead. I'm telling the you. The vet said that he was displacing unusual symptoms. He's dead, bro. He line. put something in the pizza. So we ran a few more tests. What we found churned our stomachs. Traces of strychnine were found in Bonzo's Ooh. system. It's a seriously dangerous poison used for killing birds and rodents. When ingested by humans, it causes your body to spasm. Your eyes to protrude from your skulls. What? And your brain what? and other organs to shut down. It only takes about 30 minutes to kill you. We later found out that the cheese on the pizza oh, yeah, had been That's laced crazy. with it. 
Seth's what? parents came home as soon as they found out, and we told the police everything we could remember about the guy who gave the pizza to us. Oh! Sadly, nothing ever came of it in the end. There were no other reports of anyone receiving a poisoned pizza, and it seems what? like they never tried to pull this trick again. And this was just for one off attack of opportunity. Are you for real? It makes That's why you never take food from other people, bro. You don't know what's targets, inside the food. Thinking that some dumb kids would just selfishly eat a pizza someone else ordered? If so, the does that mean he'd been watching us? How else would he have known that Seth's parents weren't in? Could he have been someone they knew? The mind boggles. It's crazy, y'all. Uh... I'm happy to report that Bonzo did indeed survive the ordeal. If only just we had arrived at the vets five minutes later, it's unlikely he would have pulled through. I'm surprised the four boys didn't eat the pizza, bro. It would have been over. The thought that somebody might target others for no <clears throat> apparent reason terrifies me. If anyone brings food to your door that you didn't... Well, he survived? Do what? Do the right thing and check with the... How did he survive? Up. It just might save your life. Bro, who would have died? This is a story from when I was alone in the house down the street <clears throat> from where I live now. I was home alone for the afternoon one summer day. It was towards the end of summer. Exactly. So do not lazy. take the food. What did he just say? If anybody lazy. brings food, do not My take it, even if it's not yours, bro. Don't My take it. Because you, what, you don't know what's inside the food. I it's just nasty, bro. Don't do it. I was only it's just don't. Time. Never do that. I constantly checked out the it's windows. the worst thing to do. You might get poisoned. You might I kept getting the feeling I was being be like the dog. Then the noises began. I kept hearing thumps in the attic. Oh, they got what? scared as the only way to the attic. There's another story in, in my here. Closet in my room, as it only had a okay. cover lid for it. I sat on the couch, and tried to ignore okay, the sound. This creeped me out, yeah. After a while, it stopped. But then I started to hear talking in the back room of the house. Bro. The weird part oh my was gosh. no one was home. I put the TV on mute, and it sounded like a male and Bro. female. So I got up and slowly went to the back room to check, only to find oh no one there. By then. I was really scared. What is that, I bro? The living room and curled up, sitting there in complete silence, as I didn't know what to do. It was all right for a minute, until I jumped by the sound of three knocks on the front door, only five oh, feet from my nah, left. Oh no, bro! I am out of here. went to check through the peephole to find no one at the door or down the street. What? I immediately called my parents after that, and they. Why would you go? Hour later. I'm gonna tell you in a minute. I'm gonna tell you in a minute. It was late at night in the same old house. Me and my brother were alone for the night when my parents went to eat. During the night, everything went as normal, but then I noticed things moving on their own. The washer would have its lid open right after I closed it. The keys would move and clothes would go missing. Was it? Was it? The scariest thing happened. Oh my gosh. I was going Look behind to you. Bed. Look behind you. I looked outside my doorway to see a figure that appeared to be a shadow person standing there. I hid in my covers, and ever since then, I always sleep with my door closed at night. Bro, okay, that's that's the end of this that's the end of this reaction video, y'all. But I, what I was about to say is, you see how, you see how he went to go check it out to see what it was. Black, we're not doing that. We're not doing any of that, nigga. I'm taking out a gun. I am running, getting out the house. My, I'm not doing any of that. Are we going to have to really like? You gonna have to really like scrap, cause I'm not like, what's up, bitch? What's up? like I'm not, I don't play with none of that, bro. I don't know. Stop playing with me, bro. I got God on my side, though, so I'm straight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, scroll down, and subscribe to join the hashtag Kai Family, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of videos, a lot of reaction videos, and this week, what day is Christmas? Thursday? It's Thursday, Christmas. Yeah, Thursday is Christmas, y'all. So I want to wish all of you guys a happy holidays. And um, guess what? Right after Christmas, right after Christmas, the 26th, I am getting a tattoo. My, one of my first tattoos ever at the age of 16. And I'm dropping that video for you guys. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be after Christmas. I'm going to vlog. I'm going to vlog the whole thing. I'm going to vlog the whole entire thing. My first time getting a tattoo. So yeah. Um, I love you guys. It's your boy Kyrie. Road to 800. Road to 1K, uh, road to 1 million, you know what I'm saying? I love you guys. It's your boy Kyrie, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. We'll get you some Smoothie Cafe.